let's look at problem 5. We are given E1, E2 and E3 are the electric fields at a distance r from a point charge Q. Uh, linear char uh, long wire of linear charge density lambda and a plane with uniform charge density sigma. So we know the formulas for all three. E1 will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R squared. E2 is 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught lambda by R. And E3 is a constant sigma by 2 epsilon naught. So let's look at the options A, B, C and D. A says Q is equal to 4 pi R naught squared. Now these are equal at R naught. So if you equate the first and two, you can see that four pi and two pi will leave a remainder of two epsilon naught, epsilon naught will cancel. And so, sorry, we needed, I'm sorry, we needed between Q and sigma, right? So we'll have to equate the first and the third. If we needed between Q and lambda, we would equate between the first and second, but Q and sigma, we need to equate between the first and the third. So a factor of two epsilon naught will cancel out and Q will be two pi r squared right into sigma, not 4 pi r squared into sigma. So A is false. B says r naught is equal to lambda by 2 pi sigma. It's lambda and sigma, we equate these two. We can see that a factor of 2 will cancel directly. So there is no factor of 2, so B is also false. But see, E1 r naught by 2 is equal to 2 E2 r naught by 2. Let's see, what is E1 r naught by 2? We put r naught by 2 whole squared here. So it will be 4 times 4 pi epsilon naught q by r naught square. And they are saying this is equal to 2 times e2 of r naught by 2. Put r naught by 2 here. So 2 lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r. Now if we take this 2 outside, then we can see that this whole thing inside the bracket is the same as this whole thing. Right, because they are the same at r naught. Both of them are multiplied by 4, so again it will give us the same thing. So C will indeed be true. And for D, we are given E2 of R0 by 2. That is uh, 2 lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught R. And on the other side, we are given 4 times E3 of R0 by 2. But E3 is a constant sigma by 2 epsilon naught. And we know this thing is equal to this whole thing. So 2 and 4 are not the same. So these will not be true. So this is false. Which means the answer to the fifth question is going to be C. Thank you.